have less videos on student etiquette and more videos on teachers methodology how they have to improve the methodology to improve the teaching skills so that they can make students understand bet, uh, better about a particular topic but today i'm going to discuss about those psychological etiquette which you can call or you can also call as those mindset shifts that can help students to improve their score better hello everyone welcome back to my channel shift study studio hope you guys are really doing well so let me know how are you all in the comment box below let's go let's shift our minds the first point itself here i'm going to talk about exams well think like an invigilator and the lecturer who is sitting in front of the computer and correcting hundreds of papers every single day by looking at that digital screen it feels difficult right so always try to think like them and how you can make it easy for them okay to hit the point state i'll come to the point what am i going to talk is few of the students keep repeating the same point in the answer to elaborate the size of the answer if they have written first point that will be the same point for the fourth fourth point will be same and then the last point also will be the same so don't try to repeat the points all the time where it makes the invigilator lecturer to feel there's nothing in this answer all she is doing is repeating the points and the other thing also i want to mention the other way of doing this is to write one line point in four lines trying to elaborate so they can elaborate the size of the answer don't even do this guys it's waste of their time waste of your time also instead which i have ever done in my life is this trick see i never elaborated the size of my answer what i used to do is appropriately target four points strong points of that answer and try to write the four points first and then rest of the answer will be some simple easy points which are not that useful that strong points of that particular answer or chapter so it draws a conclusion for the invigilator or lecturer that okay whatever i'm read makes sense it's not being repeated that means she know 10 different points of the particular answer which can give you really good marks if this sounds good then try to implement and see it will really make lot of sense you can get more marks compared to other person who keep repeating their points don't compare yourself with other persons who follow such kind of tricks it might work for them for once but not for all the time to score better than 8.5 or um 8.7 because these kind of tricks which i'm mentioning in this video brought me from 8.5 to 9.6 so this will help you also you might think that if we follow this kind of tips it will compress our answer i think most of the lecturers won't suggest that also but i am here to suggest this thing compress your answer as far as possible don't try to elaborate it because just imagine guys if you have to uh, correct 100 papers in front of the digital screen will you make it simple or will you uh, make it more complicated for yourself you initially what you feel is you have to read every answer when you're going to 25th que uh, question paper uh, sorry answer sheet to correct their answer uh, will you read the whole answer no right so you have to make it easy again i'm mentioning you have to make it easy for the a uh, person who is correcting your paper so compress your answer focus only on that major points which can add marks to your answer sheet that's it that is what you, it has to be in your mind what points can add marks to your answer sheet and one more thing i want to mention here uh, when it comes to question paper presentation how you have to present your answers uh, plan it very carefully because uh, on the digital screens they scan your answer sheet and then they will start correcting so it will be up, uh, on the screen uh, all your answer sheets will be appearing in black and white picture so if you have to present your answers try to imagine your whole paper in black and white and then start a uh, planning your presentation see if anything has to appear in black and white it's difficult even if you use color pens or color uh, pencils to mark or highlight one important word in a sentence that will also appear as black and white right so what can you do what, this is what i have done putting that major point in a box and drawing a tick a line under an important word and also uh, drawing flower backets can make it look really beautiful so this kind of tricks and hacks or else putting the equations whatever you write a formulas that you write in the box can highlight those things in the paper even though it is black and white or color picture the second mindset shift is um try to design your notes as if you design a project in an office or design an artwork now designing doesn't mean colors and pictures i'm talking about this be specific with your running notes how do you want your running notes to be 
see you can um, you know write your running notes in bullet points you can use some uh, pick up lines or words you can uh, use flow charts cycles you can also write the whole concept like cheat sheets mentioning only unique points or doubts so it can be anything what works for you first you have to write or try on all kinds of running notes that you see how many kinds of running notes you can prepare you can just follow um the points that i've mentioned before the specifications that i've mentioned before how you can write your running notes for me i tried mind mapping flow chart bullet points i tried cheat sheets one thing that worked for me the best all the time is writing that rough pick up lines or words what does it mean if you're reading one paragraph or a whole sum of uh, 15 to 20 lines of uh, answer then there will be few words four to five uh, words in that answer completely which complete that answer if you remember those four terms or four words you can recall the whole answer the whole answer revolves around only those words so i will be roughly picking up those lines or that words and just writing it down in my running notes while mom is explaining also or while i'm reading also so i make such kind of rough copy that will help me to recall very very quickly it's a crisp notes that can help me to recall or revise within just 5 minutes so I've, there are times where i've completed one long answer in just 5 minutes with this method well um the second mindset that is designing your notes actually depends on the third mindset of calculating how much patience you have test your patience which means every student is different every student have different iq levels and everyone have different uh, levels of talent right so instead of comparing what kind of talent how much focus and grasping levels you have uh, shift your focus to how much patience you have instead of thinking how fast you can grasp an answer ask yourself how much time you can just sit there and study how long you can sit there and study i'm telling this because um most of the times uh, most of the students will have good iq levels grasping power and talent but all they lack is the patience to sit and study for longer period of time and to some point i am also one kind of them because um you know uh we don't have that feel to study all the time we don't have the zeal and fire to study all the time it's not possible because we are humans even though you have that good patience levels to study for longer time but some or the other time you just fall off track at that time this hack can truly truly help you um now that is the reason why i choose this designing of my notes in rough pick up lines if i have to um, study within 10 minutes i can compress my time to 10 minutes go back pick up my running notes and just turn the pages and look at that rough pick up lines on words i'm done with the revision so depending on your patience levels try to make your running notes so that when the exams arrive you you no need to spend long a period of times sitting hours and hours reading and nothing goes in all you feel is like this and the fourth one is set your standards as a student not what society has set for you sitting in the library and studying making own notes self study teaching others ppt presentation seminars this is my standard well हर किसी का स्टाइल हर किसी को बनता नहीं है एवरी वन हैव दर ओन स्टाइल राइट ट्राई योर स्टाइल एट द सेम टाइम आई लव टू एक्चुअली फोकस ऑन अदर कर एक्टिविटीज एज वेल नो जजमेंट इफ यू डोंट लाइक वॉट आई लाइक इट्स एब्सोलूटली फाइन सेट योर स्टैंडर्ड्स एज यू आर एंड बी प्रो इन एक्चुअली फॉलोइंग इट एग्जैक्टली इफ इवन इफ इट इज नॉट फीलिंग टू स्टडी एवरी सिंगल डे इफ इट इज नॉट योर स्टाइल दैन डोंट स्टडी एवरी सिंगल डे इफ इट इज यू बिलीव इन स्टडींग वीकली वंस वन सब्जेक्ट टारगेट दैट वन सब्जेक्ट आफ्टर फोर वीक्स यूल बी मास्टर mastering that subject exactly if it is your style to study every single day for one hour only one single subject for one week long then do that and always try to be pro in following your own standard believe in your standards set your standards according to your mentality then it will be very easy to cope open your notebook set all your standards pause this video and then listen to this fifth mindset shift after you set your standards then now rate your pace how far you good at right now then later um write all those changes that you have to change in yourself to get there now be specific with the change what does it mean see for example if i have to uh 
be on time to school <laughs> i mean if i'm always late to school if i want to fix that then the first thing that, that i have to do is set my sleep cycle sleep on time wake up on time for that what all activities should be changed first thing is uh my dinner time <laughs> yeah if you fix your dinner time everything will change literally so i eat early dinners do you comment down below and let me know when is your dinner time because dinner time matters a lot guys it can change your life it does mine it can does it, it can do for you also <laughs> so yeah and after you uh, be specific with that change then you can bring that change into your life so easily so be specific with it and eat that big fat frog first i hope i truly truly hope this five mindset shifts are really helpful to you guys and you got something new to learn in this video as a student and i'll be really glad if you let me know in the comment box below what is that new thing or that point you loved in this video and that will be a little bit motivation for me to do further videos like this as well so yeah always stay energetic and stay focused all the time yeah stay happy also keep smiling and spread smiles i don't know why did i say it today i'm a little bit excited okay bell icon the bow subscribe hit the like button and share it share it for sure if you really feel this video is useful share 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 subscribe bye